Hi, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my cooking channel. Today I will show you how to make steam layer cake bánh da lợn. And I hope you will enjoy the recipe. First, soak the mung beans in water for 6 to 8 hours, then wash and cook with half teaspoon of salt, one and a quarter cup of water on medium heat until there's no more water, then cover the lid and cook for about 5 to 6 more minutes. For the green layers, wash and cut 10 pendant leaves, then grind them with one can of coconut milk. Then pour it into a fabric bag to collect the liquid only. If you don't have fresh pandan leaves, you can use the frozen one. If there's no frozen one, then you can use the pandan extract. And if you can't find the pandan extract, then you can use the green food coloring. With the fresh pandan leaves, I still use 2 to 4 drops of food coloring. In this bowl, I have 150 grams of tapioca starch. Now I add in 100 grams of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, 60 grams of glutinous rice flour, 400 milliliters of the coconut pandan leaf liquid, then whisk it up. For the yellow layers, in the blender, pour in the cooked mung beans, then add in 40 grams of tapioca starch, 20 grams of glutinous rice flour, 100 grams of sugar, 1 vanilla packet, a quarter teaspoon of salt, 250 milliliters of coconut milk, then blend it until everything is smooth. Now I have the batters for the green layers and the yellow layers. Just to be safe, I'm gonna divide them into equal portions, so my cake will have four green layers and three yellow layers. Coat some cooking oil on a baking pan, then leave the baking pan in the steamer for a few minutes before your first layer. Remember to stir your batter very well before you pour it in. So this is the first layer. Steam it for about 4 to 5 minutes. Now stir the yellow batter before pouring it in. Steam the yellow layer for about 6 to 7 minutes. Just remember to stir your batter very well before pouring it in. Keep repeating the layers until you get to the very last layer. For the green layers, steam them for about 5 minutes. For the yellow layers, steam them for about 7 to 8 minutes. Until the last layer, then you reduce the heat to medium and steam for about 20 to 25 more minutes. Now the cake is done. It smells wonderful. But let it cool down completely before you can remove the cake from the baking pan. The cake is now cooled down. Use a plastic knife to loosen the surrounding of the cake, then just use your hand to remove the cake from the baking pan. Aww, look at the cake! Look at the layers! See how they're all even? It's so pretty and it smells wonderful! See how pretty it is of the beautiful thin layers of alternating pandan leaves and mung beans? You can see how gelatinous it is when I touch it. To cut the cake, you can use the pizza cutter or the knife, but remember to apply cooking oil on the blades. Or you can use a piece of plastic wrap and wrap the knife up. I prefer the plastic wrap. See how easily it cuts? Now will you look at that? Look how soft, chewy, and gelatinous it is. See how all the layers are sticking together? But you still can separate them if you like. The cake itself smells wonderful. I just love the smell of pandan leaves. It smells so nice and so sweet. It's just beautiful and delicious. 
And that is how I made Vietnamese steamed layered cake, bánh da lợn. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.